اهلا بيكم في برنامج الترجمه لقسم اللغه الانجليزيه والنهارده هنبتدي مع بعض المحاضره الثالثه if you remember in lecture 2 we were talking about adverb clauses today we're going to deal with adjective clauses اتكلمنا في المحاضره اللي فاتت على الادفرب كلوزز والنهارده هنتكلم على الادجكتيف كلوزز فاكرين انتوا طبعا ان احنا لما يعني when we are talking about adverbs we are talking about a word or a phrase or a clause that qualifies or describes a verb when we talk about adjectives again we are talking about a word or a phrase or a clause which describes a noun ممكن بيبقى فيه connectors اللي هي الكلمة اللي بتربط ما بين ال two clauses مشتركة ما بين adverb clauses and adjective clauses نلاقيها في ال adverb clauses ونلاقيها في ال adverb clauses المعيار اللي بنحكم بيه هو ايه ان دي adverb clause ولا adjective clause هي يعني what function the clause does ايه الوظيفة اللي بتعملها if it describes An adjective, uh, sorry, if it describes a noun, it's an adjective. If it describes a verb, it is an adverb. وفاكرين طبعا الفرق ما بين الفريز والكلاوز. In a clause, you have a subject and a verb. In a phrase, you do not have a subject and a verb. الحاجة التانية, uh, when we have two clauses, sometimes we have sentences with three or four or, or even more clauses. Uh, any clause with aliha, subject and verb. Like in, there is only one main clause. Yani one main clause. Yani fi clause heya in the wahdaha. Yani it can stand alone. Mumkin no ulha wahda we aliha mana. But there are other clauses which are related to a word in the main clause. An adjective clause بتبقى مرتبطة باسم بتوصفه أو بفعل بتوصفه في الجملة الأساسية دايما نفرق بين بين الاثنين أحيانا طيب يعني هو أول فرق طبعا إن what introduces the adjective clause or the noun clause or the adverb clause is the connector or the connecting word أحيانا كمان بيبقى ممكن لو شلنا ال connecting word نحس ان ال نحس ان ال adjective clause دي ليها معنى برضو لوحدها ممكن تبقى جملة لوحدها زي ال main clause لكن هي في الحقيقة it is there in the sentence because it adds more meaning to the verb or to the noun احنا مش بنتكلم عنها منفصلة كجملة لوحدها وهنشوف الكلام ده اللي ممكن يعني the sentence which can stand alone اللي خدناها في الاول خالص لما اتكلمنا على ال coordinate connectors اللي هي لما بستعمل and but or so دي مجرد انها بتربط two simple sentences Each of them can stand alone. All right. Like we see with each other, lecture three, and see how it develops. Like we call adjective clause connectors. We know that the connectors are the words that connect two clauses. I cannot have two clauses. يعني a clause with a subject and a verb and another clause with a subject and a verb without a connector انا بقول لي كده لان بعد شوية احنا هنشوف ان احنا ممكن هيكون عندنا adjective clauses ما فيش connector لكن هي adjective clause نفسها غيرناها ما بقتش clause يعني ما بقاش فيها subject and verb Alright, you be a side time. She be a few connector. Like when you have two clauses, you need two subjects and two verbs. You must have a connector. Then let's look at the word. An adjective describes a noun. When an adjective is one word, it is placed before the noun. It describes. دائما عارفين كده. ولو إن دي غلطة شائعة عند الناس أول ما بتيجي تتعلم إنجليزي. عشان إحنا عندنا يعني because in Arabic we have 
the noun and then the adjective sometimes they do they do the same يعني يقولوا مثلا بدل ما يقولوا the intelligent boy the boy intelligent learn not to think in Arabic learn to use the words that you know in English to talk or to write لكن ما نفكرش بالعربي وبعدين نحاول ننقله انجليزي هتبقى الجرامر غلط جدا طيب يبقى عرفنا يعني when an adjective is one word remember this it is placed before the noun it describes when it is a clause it is placed after the noun it describes تعالوا نشوف مع بعض she is reading the book that she bought yesterday تعالوا نبص على الجملة الأولانية she is reading the book طيب she subject is reading verb The book is an object. طيب. ممكن الجملة دي تبقى لوحدها. She is reading the book. طيب. That she bought yesterday. يمكن أنا اخترت هنا أن أنا أحط جملة لو شلنا الكونكتر ما يبقى لهاش ليها معنى لوحدها قوي يعني. يعني لأن أنا ما أقدرش أقول she bought yesterday. لو قلت she bought yesterday and I expect this to be a clause that has meaning يعني زي المين clause الأولانية يبقى I need an object يعني ممكن أقول uh, she bought a book yesterday لكن ما أقدرش أقول she bought yesterday طيب that هي هنا ال connector the connector that joins the adjective clause اللي هي that she bought yesterday بتوصلها بالجملة الأساسية the main clause طيب The adjective clause comes right after the noun it, des- it describes. يعني هنا هي ال adjective clause دي بتوصف ايه؟ It describes the word book. The book that she bought yesterday. Type that is a connector which is used to refer to objects and to human beings. Type that on bus. وطبعا يعني that she bought yesterday ادي عندي برضو because this is a clause I have she subject bought verb طيب let's look at the next sentence the book that she bought yesterday is a philosophy book طيب انا عندي اهو book وعندي is subject and verb وبرضو عندي she subject bought verb يبقى أنا عندي two clauses طيب وين عندي that she bought yesterday عندي connector وعندي a clause coming right after the word book يبقى that she bought yesterday بتوصف إيه بتوصف كلمة book it's an adjective clause qualifying the word book فين المين سنتنس بتاعتي؟ The book is a philosophy book. Alright؟ طيب. ليه الـ adjective clause ممكن تيجي بقى في أول الجملة؟ أنتوا عارفين حكاية أول الجملة وآخر الجملة ونص الجملة الكلام ده. طيب هي الـ adjective clause بتيجي بعد الاسم اللي هي بتوصفه. فاللي حاصل هنا she is reading the book. That she bought yesterday. The adjective clause is qualifying the word book, which in the first sentence is an object. طبعا object بيجي في آخر الجملة. طيب لكن هنا the book that she bought yesterday. The adjective clause هنا that she bought yesterday بتوصف كلمة book, which is a subject in that sentence. بعد كده يعني كأن هقول إن الجزء ده the book and the clause it describes ده جزء في الجملة الفعل بتاعه الفعل بتاع السبجكت بتاع الجملة دي هو is alright طيب يعني كأن الجملة الأساسية هي إيه the book is a philosophy book وزي ما قلت ما قلنا في الأول خالص يمكن في أول محاضرة إن there is a main part in the sentence the main part in the sentence what makes a sentence in English is the subject and the verb 
الاجزاء الزياده اللي ممكن احذفها في الجمله دي ممكن تكون الادفيربس ممكن تكون الادجكتيفز things that add more meaning but are not main parts of the sentence يعني دايما اخد بالي لما اكون بقرا جمله وفيها كلام كتير اخد بالي فين الجزء الاساسي في الجمله عشان اقدر افهم كمان الكلام لو الماده صعب عليا شويه انا ممكن اكون بقرا يعني I, I, I can be reading a science book I do not know the material that well مادة العلوم يمكن أنا ما بفهمهاش لكن اللي هيخليني أفهمها هو فهمي للعلاقات ما بين الكلمات وبعضها كلغة alright طيب in both يعني ما أنا كان ممكن هنا في الجملة دي أقول she is reading the book وخلاص لما أقول that she bought yesterday أنا بزود مجرد كلام إضافة صفة يعني I'm adding more information to a word. طيب هنا برضو the book is a philosophy book. That she bought yesterday برضو uh, through the adjective clause I'm just adding more information to the word book. لكن ممكن ما تبقاش موجود. طيب. In both sentences that is the connector that joins the two clauses. Why do you think E? And the adjective clause describes book, which is an object in the first sentence and a subject in the second sentence. طيب تعالوا نبص للمثال ده اللي هو زي الحاجات نوعية الحاجات اللي هتجيلنا في الامتحان. طيب the book bought was rather difficult. طيب دايما زي ما تعلمنا ادور الجمله دي فيها ايه وناقصه ايه طيب the book طبعا ده subject بعد كده عندي blank وبعدين عندي bought which is a verb and was which is another verb طيب ما دام عندي two verbs يبقى انا I need two subjects انا عندي هنا just one subject ممكن اقول the book was rather difficult يبقى الجزء اللي جاي في الوسط ده it needs a connector And it needs a subject for the verb bought. No boss about. Because taban was was is a verb, but we need a subject and a verb. Since no since connects. Right. When you have four choices, عادةً بيبقى فيه اتنين بجزب من الأول إن هم غلط وبيبقى الاختيار بعدين التفكير في حاجتين موجودين. Right. أنا هنا عندي because و since طبعا دول غلط لأنهم يعني these are adverb clause connectors طيب لكن أنا عندي أنا عارفة إن أنا عايزة subject and verb هنا عندي verb طيب ممكن أقول the book was bought was rather difficult طيب ما أنا عندي فعلين الاتنين يعني مش ممكن يشيروا ل subject واحد alright يبقى أنا عايزة هنا connector and subject علشان يبقى دي adjective clause connected to the word book يبقى هقول the book which she bought was rather difficult alright طيب نقرأ مع بعض the note, notice that you have two clauses The book was rather difficult. دي الأولانية. The book was bought. طيب. The second clause only has a verb. اللي هو bought. It needs a subject and also a connector to join it to the other clause. D is the only choice that has a connector and a subject. It is the correct answer. طيب. نشوف A ال adjective clause connectors في ال في ال chart D. I have who and whom for people who to refer to a subject and whom to refer to an object which for things which you have subject and object forms that bardo without object and, and subject forms for people and for things as well like I liked the book and I'm Jena I Subject, liked, verb, 
ذا بوك هنا عندي اوبجكت ساعات يبقى عندي جمل ما فيهاش اوبجكت بس هنا اي هاف ان اوبجكت تايب نحط او اي لايكت ذا بوك which you recommended I liked the book which you, you recommended يبقى which you recommended دي كلها على بعضها this is the adjective clause and it comes right after the noun it describes which is book okay طيب نبص على الجملة اللي بعد كده the book the subject which you recommended adjective connector subject and verb was interesting يبقى the main clause or the main sentence is the book was interesting which you recommended this is an adjective clause which describes the word book the adjective connectors can be uh, omitted يعني أنا ممكن أقول the book you recommended was interesting مش ضروري أقول which this omission is very common in spoken English مش ضروري أقول وأنا بتكلم the book which you recommended بقول على طول the book you recommended was good uh, or in, in In, in casual written English يعني casual written English casual يعني informal كلام مش رسمي مش, مش الكلام اللي مكتوب uh, by grammar which is very exact it is not as common in formal English يعني informal English لما بكون بكتب uh, كتابة uh, دقيقة رسميا من ناحية القواعد I do not omit um, the connector طيب نبص مع بعض على exercise 11 you know that the, at the end of every lecture you have all if we have four skills and four exercises you have the four exercises at the end and they are uh, done for you now try to do them alone try to do each exercise alone before you look at Uh, the, the answers at the end of the lecture احنا مع بعض بقى هنبص وهنفكر وهنقرر مع بعض نقول ده ليه صح وده ليه غلط واحنا عايزين ايه والكلام ده اوكي uh, okay. طيب each of the following sentences contains more than one clause underline the subjects once and the verbs twice italicize the connectors italicize the connectors يعني الconnectors هنعملهم بالخط المايل italics write them in italics and put boxes around the adjective clauses ده اللي هتلاقوه في الاكسرسايزز وهي محلولة indicate if بيتقلقوا ليه الجملة غلط إذا كانت غلط ليه تبقى غلط هي كده وإزاي نصلحها indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect طيب تعالوا نشوف you should start the computer in the way that the manual says طيب على فكرة احنا ممكن نكون بنقرأ حاجات مش فاهمين معنى الجملة لكن ممكن نقدر نعرف حتى واحنا مش فاهمين معنى الجملة الجرامر بتاعها صح ولا لا يعني معناها ان احنا ممكن نقرا جمله مش عارفينها ونقدر نختار برضو الاختيار الصح حتى لو مش فاهمين معنى الجمله. فيمكن عشان كده انا احيانا مش هقول معنى الكلمات. ممكن اقول بعدين بعد ما نحل. طيب. هنا مثلا انا عارفه ان يو از ا سبجكت. بعديها شود ستارت از ذا فيرب. طيب بعد كده ذا كمبيوتر هتبقى اوبجكت. ان ذا واي طيب ان ذا واي أنا عندي أهو preposition وراء the object of the preposition اللي هي way حتى لو مش عارفة يعني way طيب that يبقى that the manual says طيب حتى لو عارفة أنا مش عارفة كلمة manual لكن ما دام قبلها the هتبقى إيه؟ اسم والاسم بيبقى وراء فعل خصوصا أن عندي أهو كلمة يعني نقدر ان انت ما هيش تايز فعل تاني الناس مش عارفاه صعب قوي لكن في اخره اس وقبليه اسم يبقى حرف ان ده فعل طيب يبقى ادي اول فعل يو شود ستارت 
is the verb بعد كده that is a connector احنا عارفين it's a connector and it introduces an adjective clause type and it refers or it describes the noun that directly comes before it يبقى that the manual says وانا عندي هو اسمه فعل يبقى دي وقبلهم connector يبقى this is an adjective clause that qualifies the word way مفروض ان انت تبتدي الكمبيوتر بالطريقه اللي المانيوال اللي هو الكتيب اللي بيجي مع اي اله بيدي الارشادات بتاعه تشغيلها يعني يبقى مفروض ان انت تبتدي الكمبيوتر بالطريقه اللي بيقول عليها المانيوال طيب this sentence is correct طب تعالوا نشوف دي the house طيب the house ادي اسم في اول جمله يبقى it must be the subject which which يبقى which refers to house which is the connector طيب بعد I subject have bought verb طيب which I have bought the adjective clause جاية بعد كلمة house يبقى an adjective clause uh, describing the word house طيب a lot of money to repair فين الفعل اللي عندي هنا محدش يقول لي ان repair هو الفعل لان ده جاي بعد to الفعل اللي يجي بعد to بيبقى مصدر ما بيبقاش فعل يعني يعني لو انا شلت adjective clause هنا وجيت اقول the house a lot of money to repair ما هو اي حاجه جايه بعد تو ما انا ممكن احذفها ما هيش جزء اساسي برضو من الجمله ما هياش فعل تبقى مش جزء اساسي طيب يبقى ذا هاوس ا lot اوف ماني يبقى فين الفعل هنا يبقى الجمله دي محتاجه ايه عشان تتصلح الجمله دي محتاجه نكتبه محتاجه فعل ممكن اقول ذا هاوس كوستس A lot of money to repair. كذا الجملة تبقى صح. زود معنى زيادة ب adjective clause to qualify the word house. فقلت the house which I have bought. طيب I just finished the paper whom the teacher asked for. I subject finished verb the paper. object وطبعا الاوبجكت بيبقى noun وجاي بعدها whom whom دي uh, the connector that connects adjective clauses whom the teacher teacher subject asked asked for uh, is a verb طيب طيب ما انا عندي اهو هقول ما انا عندي جمله كويسه اهو two subjects and two verbs and uh, a connector اللي هو whom اه هو بس الحكايه ان whom is used to connect or to refer to shir ila objects which are animate animate يعني عاقل animate و inanimate العاقل وغير العاقل طيب يبقى انا ما اقدرش استعمل هوم لان paper هنا البحث is not a person it's a thing يبقى اقول ايه I just finished the paper which The teacher asked for. Saita te balgom la sah. Tay. The car that he wanted to buy was sold. Tay. Talun ul e. نحذف نحاول نصغر الجملة زي ما اتفقنا ان احنا عشان نفهم الحاجة نحاول لو مش فاهمين نحاول نصغر. Tay. The car. Tay. أنا عندي subject أو فين الفعل بتاعه was sold. The car. Was sold. Time that he wanted to buy. That he wanted to buy. If that is the connector, he subject wanted is the verb to buy. To buy is an infinitive. In Tarfin Saat, I will. I want to go. I want to eat. I want to drink. I want to buy. And I'm not going to always the car that he wanted. 
هو ده الفعل لكن تو باي ده مصدر جاي بعد الفعل ملوش لزوم ممكن حتى احذفه ذا كار ذات هي وانتد واز سولد يبقى ذات از ذا كونكتر هي سبجكت وانتد فيرب ذات هي وانتد تو باي كلها على بعضها كده از ذا ادجكتيف كلوز طيب تعالوا نبص على خامس جمله ذا فيلم طيب ادي سبجكت ويتش كويس لان ويتش طبعا ريفيرز تو ثينجز نوت تو بيبل ويتش وي واتشد ان ذا سينما لاست نايت اهو ذا فيلم ويتش وي واتشد ان ذا سينما لاست نايت الفيلم اللي شفناه في السينما امبارح ماله؟ ات واز ريلي جود طيب اهو هقول اهو ذا فيلم سبجكت It was really good. مش دي الجملة الأساسية. أنا هنا هنقول إن الجملة دي, ال clause دي, which we watched in the cinema last night, دي ال ال adjective clause. طيب يبقى فضلة الجملة الأساسية اللي عندي إيه? The film it was really good. في غلطة هنا. In the film, I cannot choose the noun and the pronoun. كده حيب عندي two subjects. ما اقولش the film it was اقول the film was it دي استعملها لو 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 انا قبل في جمله مثلا صرحت بالكلام اللي انا بتكلم عنه وبعد كده بقول جمله ثانيه فممكن استعمل الضمير لكن ما استعملش الـ الـ الاسم والضمير في نفس الجمله يبقى this is a repeated subject which makes the sentence wrong كده بقى صح طيب they gave the job to the applicant whom you recommended طيب they subject gave verb the job object to the applicant للمتقدم whom you recommended طيب applicant ده بني آدم فطبعا هستعمل هو امتى بستعمل هوم وامتى بستعمل هو بستعمل هو if I am referring or if I am describing a subject بستعمل هوم if I'm describing an object طيب applicant دي subject ولا object طبعا it's an object of the preposition to يبقى استعمل معاها هوم يبقى this sentence is correct The indifference which they showed made me feel unwelcome. طيب يمكن مش عارفين indifference يعني إيه ومش هنقول هي يعني إيه دلوقتي. طيب the indifference is ما هو جاي فأول جملة it's the subject which طيب which يبقى اللي جاي بعد كده في الوسط هي بقى adjective clause which they showed they object subject Uh, showed verb يبقى which they showed is an adjective clause qualifying the word indifference ممكن اشيل adjective clause عشان اشوف الجملة الاساسية فين يبقى the indifference made me feel unwelcome indifference subject made verb الجملة دي صح indifference هنا معناها التجاهل او اللامبالاه اللامبالاه او التجاهل اللي اظهروه خلاني اشعر اني غير مرحب بي. The news type the news subject that you told me type the news that you told me about the elections ممكن نحس ان عشان الجمله كده فيها كلام كتير دي جمله كامله و... و... وطويله دي دي اكيد جمله كامله لا تعالوا نشوف. The news that you told me The news subject that connector you subject told verb me object. ممكن أقول the news that you told me. طيب about the elections about the preposition. يبقى the elections the a object of the prepositions of the preposition. طيب يبقى هقول إن أنا بس هنا عمالة بطول في adjective clause شوي. The news. الأخبار that you told me about the elections اللي قلتها لي عن الانتخابات مالها 
يبقى هنا انا عندي الجمله الاساسيه ليها سبجكت لكن ما لهاش فيرب ده نيوز ده نيوز كل اللي جاي ده مش مهم انتوا عارفين ده ده يعني ادجكتيفز اد مينينج لكن ذا سنتنس نيدز A subject and a verb. I do not have a verb here. فممكن أقول إيه مثلا عشان الجملة تكمل لأن الجملة needs a verb. ممكن أقول إيه. The news that you told me about the elections was false. لأن أنتوا عارفين طبعا إن بعد verb to be لازم يجي complement. حاجة تكمل verb to be. المعلومات ولا الأخبار اللي قلتها لي عن الانتخابات كانت أخبار غير صحيحة was false. طيب. نيوز خدوا بالكم ان كلمة نيوز احنا بنقولها الاخبار وزي ما انتم شايفين اهي فيها اس but it's not a plural noun the news is singular the news was not the news were طيب let's look at number 9 the team with which were competing were very aggressive طيب the team The team were very aggressive. Type. If I have a subject team, were very aggressive. The verb with a the team were very aggressive. Maybe I'm not sure what the word team means. Or if I know the word team, but it can be another word that I'm not sure what it means. But I see that it has no S. وهلاقي ان الفعل اللي بيستعمل is a plural verb فهعرف ان the team دي is a word that could be singular and plural زي كلمة family كده ممكن اقول the family was لو انا بتكلم عن العيلة كعيلة من ضمن العيلات لكن لو انا بتكلم على العيلة كأفراد ممكن اقول where the team is the same thing the team الفريق أنا هنا مش بتكلم على الفريق أنا بتكلم على أفراد الفريق فبقول they were very aggressive ممكن أكون بتكلم على the team كفريق بس كفريق كورة مثلا من ضمن الفرق التانية ممكن أقول the team was لكن هنا I'm talking about the members فهقول the team were very aggressive طيب تعالوا بقى نشوف الجملة اللي مفروض إنها ال adjective clause the team With which with which were competing were competing this is a verb where is the subject Ibahina Mafish and Dina Subject Lilgumla أو للكلاز الأدجكتيف كلاز ممكن عشان تتصلح هقول the team with which we were competing were very aggressive طيب تعالوا نبص على آخر جملة هنا في الإكسرسايز دي he is not really enthusiastic about the decisions that we took in the meeting تعالوا نشوف الجملة الأساسية برضو فين He is not really enthusiastic. Type. He is not enthusiastic. How much more the hamis? Type about the decisions. The gumla lasasaya. He is not enthusiastic. Bazawid prepositional phrase ilay about the decisions. The prepositional phrase. طبعا فيها noun اللي هو object of the, the preposition بقول that يبقى that refers او الجملة ال clause ال adjective clause اللي بادية ب that is going to be the adjective clause that describes the word decisions لانها جاية بعديها على طول يبقى he's not really enthusiastic about the decisions that or which we took in the meeting which we took in the meeting we subject took ممكن اقول which we took وخلاص in the meeting ده برضو اضافة معنى زيادة بpreposition phrase 
يعني كان ممكن الجملة أساسها يبقى إيه؟ He is not enthusiastic the wit about the decisions و decisions اللي هي أساسا إضافة ب... لمعنى ب... ب... ب prepositional phrase update the word decisions uh, another piece of information معلومة تانية اللي هي that we took We came in that we took where in the meeting. All right, uh, that is how we we, uh, we 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 write more. We include more ideas. Okay. Uh, let us together look at uh, another rule. Use adjective clause connector subjects. Yani connector subjects. Uh, زي ما انتم شايفين uh, احنا مش بن... ما بنقولش هنا use adjective clause connectors لا use adjective clause connector subjects عندي هنا slash connector subjects يعني the connector may be the subject نشوف ازاي notice that an adjective clause connector which we used to connect two clauses can be not only a connector but the subject of the adjective clause as well. She is reading a book which is a philosophy book. She is reading a book that is our main clause. Which is a philosophy book. Which is a philosophy book. She is reading a book. The book is a philosophy book. بدل كلمة the book أنا جبت الضمير يعني which هنا is a pronoun ضمير وانتو عارفين ضمير طبعا ممكن يكون subject and at the same time it's a connector. تعالوا نقرأ كده الجملة دي معلش دي هنا Number one, not number two. Type G number one, okay? Malish, Malif, Chamela, never mind. Type. She is reading a book which is a philosophy book. يبقى which is a philosophy book دي بتوصف ايه؟ book طيب it's an adjective clause طيب هنا شايفين ادي she is reading subject and verb هنا بقى which is not only the connector لكن هي هنا is also the subject in the adjective clause لان هي معناها ايه؟ the book is a philosophy book هي ضمير It's a connector and a pronoun, and the pronoun is um, a subject. The book, which is really difficult, is a philosophy book. But the book, which is really difficult, طيب عندي الجملة الأساسية هنا بقت إيه؟ The book is a philosophy book. لكن which is really difficult is the adjective clause. جاي بعد كلمة book على طول. طيب is is the verb and which is the connector and the subject as well. لأني كان ممكن أقول the book is really difficult. كان ممكن يبقى عندي جملتين. The book is a philosophy book. وبعدين the book is really difficult. فعشان أعمل the book is really difficult أعملها adjective clause شلت the book وحطيت الضمير بتاعه اللي هو which وبعد في نفس الوقت ضمير و connector وتعملت الجملة بالشكل ده. طيب. In both examples, which is the subject of the verb is in the adjective clause. At the same time, it is the connector that connects the two clauses. الكلام اللي سأيلينه. طيب تعالوا نشوف مع بعض المثال اللي زي الامتحان. طيب. Is on the shelf has ten chapters. Oh, the أنا هنا عندي إيه. Is وهاز يعني عندي two verbs وما عنديش subjects لما يبقى عندي two verbs 
I need two subjects. يعني أنا عندي two clauses. The two clauses should be connected with a connector. يعني أنا عايزة هنا إيه. This sentence needs two subjects and a connector. The book is on the shelf. Has type لا. يا إما أقول the book is on the shelf. يا إما أقول the book has ten chapters. لكن ما ينفعش the book. Type. The book which is on the shelf has ten chapters. Because the book is on the shelf. Has لا. ممكن أقول آه. Because the book is on the shelf. ويبقى في كاما. أنتوا فاكرين الأدverb clauses. و I need another subject. In the book is on the shelf. طبعا غلط دي خالص. طيب. أبص بقى هنا عندي إيه. إحنا قلنا I need two subjects. لأن I, I have two verbs. And I need a connector. طيب. عندي the book. Which. وعارفين إن which is a connector and it can be a subject as well. يبقى the book has ten chapters. The book is on the shelf. يبقى بقى the book which is on the shelf has ten chapters. الكتاب أنا يعني هقولها لكم بالعربي عشان تعرفوا يعني ال adjective clause ممكن بتيجي ازاي. الكتاب اللي على الرف فيه عشر فصول اللي على الرف دي اللي هي دعوة بالكتاب حتى يعني القواعد شيء منطقي جدا وهو متشابه على فكرة من ناحية المنطق والأفكار في كل اللغات يعني ما أقول آه الكتاب اللي على الرف طيب هي الكتاب اللي على الرف دي ليها معنى لا الكتاب اللي على الرف يعني أنا برضو اتكلمت عن حاجة ووصفتها لكن ما قلتش الخبر بتاعها ماله ما كملش المعنى الكتاب اللي على الرف في عشر فصول طيب We have two clauses in this sentence because we have two verbs, is and has. Shelf is not a subject. On the shelf. subject. This is an object of the preposition on. We need two subjects. Only B has two subjects. Uh, the book which, which is Bardo subject to connector. It is the correct answer. Um, all right. The following chart lists the connector subjects in adjective clauses. You need the connector subjects. connector subjects. يعني the connector which is a subject at the same time in the adjective clause. That who, whom for people, which for things, that for people or things. She needs a secretary. أدي جملة كاملة هو. She needs a secretary. Who types fast? Who types fast is the adjective clause that refers to the word secretary. Type who هنا subject and at the same time it's a connector. Type نبص على اللي جاي. A secretary أنا عندي هنا بس subject وال وال adjective clause uh, describes the subject. Type A secretary who types fast, here the adjective clause, is invaluable. A secretary is invaluable. Who types fast? Who? Subject types object that is uh, an adjective for the word secretary. خدوا بالكم لو سمحتوا ان احيانا بتلاقوا يعني دي حاجه الكمبيوتر بيعملها غصب عننا. ان كلمه secretary مثلا دي في وسط الجمله وباديه ب capital letter. This is incorrect. It should be small letter. Uh, طيب كده خلص الوقت بتاع الجزء الاولاني من المحاضره. Uh, نتقابل المره الجايه في الجزء الثاني من المحاضره الثالثه هنبتدي بال exercises بتاعت Rule of skill 12. Thank you very much and we meet next time.